I think we've been working hard, but I don't think it's anything different, you know. I mean, we've been preparing. That's something that we take a lot of pride in. We prepare hard, you know. And, you know, we, we really work hard at what we need to fix from the game before. So, I mean, we'll correct what some things that we messed up the week before. But other than that, you know, every week we try, we go in no matter who we're playing and, you know, try to prepare the same. Yeah, you mentioned you did prepare extra hard though for Michigan State. Like, I wish we could prepare that way for every game. Yeah, I mean, so I think, you know, some guys, you know, change up a little bit of things, but I mean, I think it's something that, you know, like the coach just said, you know, just keep building off that, and I guess, I mean, I get some guys, you know, maybe watch some more film or something like that, you know, but I think a lot of guys, uh, you know, kind of just take the, take each week, you know, as the same way and just try to prepare hard each week. The Kobe Commission of Sox is three and a half, but Ed joking about that, you know, you're still short and you're still on that, so kind of, you know, it's playful and all, but does it kind of give you a chip on your shoulder when you're playing? I mean, I guess, you know, it's all fun and jokes, really. I mean, like when I sit next to Taylor, I mean, he's, you know, 6'8", whatever, so. When I'm sitting between him and uh, Daryl at Carbon High, you know, it's just, I mean, it's just kind of fun, so I guess, I mean, not really. I mean, I, I always kind of play on the chip of my shoulder, not because I'm whatever height I am, but just, I guess that's the way I was raised, so. But you're not exactly, you're not exactly a hobbit. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. And yet, and, and these guys are praising you now, you know. To, did, did it take you a while, do you think, to really prove yourself this year, Jacoby? Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that I try every week, you know, to just go out and, you know, uh, work as hard as I can. You know, I've tried doing that the past two years, you know, but even when I was behind Corey. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey. So, um, hey, Big da hey, Big Daddy right here was player of the game. Yeah, yeah, right here. yeah, yeah. no bucks. But, <laughs> been, uh, you know, I just try to prepare the same way, you know, every week. And you know, I've, it's something I've always done and it's something I'm trying to continue to do. You know, you're, uh, uh, you guys could be playing in mid-20s temperature on Saturday. Who knows if it's going to snow, whether the cast differ on the well, that all, how do you think that will affect you guys? When we're here? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I know the offense line, but we love the cold. You know, it makes it easier on us. So, I mean, I know like last week in Illinois. I mean, we love playing in the cold. So, I mean, kind of makes it easier on our bodies. So, plus the snow just an added, it just adds on to it. Makes it a little more fun. So, you guys, you can use your height to in, to your advantage because you can get low and kind of win that uh, that, that that center of gravity battle. Let's talk about that a little bit. You get to your advantage sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's like you said, like I said, I mean, I guess you got to take what you have and use it. So, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I don't mind being, you know, a little bit shorter. So, I mean, I, like I said, like you said, I can, you know, usually get on these guys pretty well, which, you know, I mean, I like doing it. I think it helps me out. So. Well, you're the junior vice president of a snow snow plowing company, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. So the snow, snow of Minnesota is going to be a good deal. We love that. You guys as a unit, sort of as an offensive line and also with the backfield behind you, Losing Dontre Wilson, Curtis Samuel got no touches on offense. What are you guys doing differently to prepare to establish the run in Minnesota? Um, you know, I mean, I don't think it's. I mean, Dontre, you know, is a, a big hit, but I mean, there's a lot. Like you said Curtis Samuel. I mean, maybe he hasn't got as many touches, but I mean, we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, depth, a lot of guys that can do a lot of great things back there. So I mean, I'm sure Curtis will, you know, be stepping in. He'll be doing uh, great things, and you know, I have a lot of confidence in him and some of the other guys, Jalen, all and you know, all those other guys back there. So. Kobe, was there a sense last week that this offense? really finally really got rolling against a good defense. What was it like in the midst of that? And do you think, what's the carryover, I guess? Um, you know, yeah, I think definitely, like I, I said after the game, I mean, the few the weeks before, you know, we always had little things here and there, you know, we messed up one thing on a certain play, kills the play. Mm -hmm. And I think we were kind of clicking. Uh, I mean, sure, we had a few mistakes. We're going to have a few mistakes in games. But I think, you know, we were really clicking and we, uh, we were doing a lot of things together and, uh, you know, as a unit. And I think that's something that we just build off of. And, you know, as long as we keep doing that, uh, we'll have a pretty successful offense. Are you guys at all looking at JT now? Like maybe